the first place winner for a total of three thousand dollars of the near challenge is mentor block <laughs> Hey, that's me, just winning first prize at Made in Miami Hackathon with my two other teammates, Chris and Alfonso. Interestingly, I just met them at a tech event a few days before joining this hackathon. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we went through this three-day event and ultimately won first place and $3,000. Here we go. Quick hello. Hi. All right, we're going to do this. All right, Chris, we're going to win this. Yeah. yeah. How are we doing it? What's the game plan? What's the game plan? Yeah. I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. We need to figure that out. We'll figure it out. If you have a project, you have an idea, we'd like you to come up here, talk about it for 30, 15 seconds, just to give everyone an idea of what your project is going to be. Does anyone want to go first? Orange here. I'm new to this. Zero experience in coding, but more experience in overall technology and business. Yeah, it was a three-day hackathon starting from Friday and uh, didn't sleep much. Probably had two and a half hours. We really struggled trying to get the concept of our project. It took us maybe more than like, maybe the whole first day just to conceptualize what we wanted to do. Oh, I'm pissing off all the time. Yeah, you were kind of angry in there a couple of times. Because it's just, we're just going back around in a circle. And I'm, I'm trying to get stuff down, just down on paper and move as fast as possible because we have so little time. The problem is extremely big. Like, it's a very hard problem. Um, and it's not necessarily a technical problem. Yeah. That can be solved. When it's not like a technical problem to solve, it makes it very hard. So the, the question being asked is, what can we do to increase the opportunities for people looking for jobs in tech in South Florida or Miami in particular? Using technology. Using technology. <laughs> That's so much better. Wow. Then on day two, we started coding. But on day two, we had issues like view, trying to fix a lot of the errors uh, in our environment. Finally got that taken care of, and we were able to at least get a working model going. Um, I spent all of last night, uh, many hours, trying to work on the presentation. Okay, so it's uh, pretty much 11 o'clock right now, 11 p.m. And uh, this is final two, three groups left at the hackathon. Gotta be back here early. We don't know what time exactly, but we do have to make sure that we have to upload the project by 11 a.m. So time's a ticking. We were just connecting the, the demo with a few slides just to kind of get the, the point across. We spent a lot of time making sure that we had the, the, the Figma wireframe all set up so that way the UI would look presentable. Uh, we were able to accomplish that. Presentation wise, it looks looks nice, it looks, it looks sharp. Today we have some issues with our our code with uh, connecting the blockchain to our, our our site. All right, so what happened there? Um, That's the sort of stuff that does. I'm not sure what's going on. There's a missing package of some sort crossing our fingers that we're able to get that to work because we're really right down to the final moments. He got it to work. Huh? He got it to work. <laughs> Finally, right? Oh, tired, but this was a cool experience. First place prize. It pays 3000 2000 and 1000 So hopefully we're at least able to accomplish and get at least one of them. But we'll see how it goes, which is luck. Fortunately, luck was on our side and we came out as the winner of the Nercoin Challenge. There were many other prizes, including a grand prize of $10,000 in which we did not participate in. If you're on a fence about joining a hackathon, I suggest you give it a shot. It's a great way to test your skill and network with other like-minded people in the tech field. We didn't have to spend a lot of money on food for three days, as it was provided for us. There were also many free workshops to help sharpen your skills, companies looking to hire new rising talent, and entertainment when you need that last jolt of energy to get you through. Thanks for sticking to the end and hope this helps you understand more about hackathons and how to potentially win one yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.